And we begin this morning with a sad update on a Rhode Island native missing in Colorado. A body found yesterday near Aspen is believed to be that of George Aldridge, who disappeared Thanksgiving weekend. He only recently moved to Colorado from Rhode Island. Now we've learned police have notified his family of the discovery. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scher has the latest developments now from the mobile newsroom. The latest information coming from Aspen police is that a body suspected to be Cranston native George Aldridge was found Monday in Colorado. Aspen police say an Aspen resident found a body suspected of being missing Cranston native George Aldridge under the Maroon Creek Bridge, an area that was previously searched. Police say positive identification has not been made, but there is evidence that points to this being Aldridge's body. The 28-year-old Aldridge moved to Colorado in November to operate a ski lift. He was reported missing November 29th when he failed to show up for work. He was last seen two days earlier getting off a shuttle bus. The Snowmass Village resident has been the subject of an intense search ever since. It's your worst nightmare. You know, you don't know. And we're having a really, really hard time getting answers that you think would be so easy. His family took the story national by coming to the studio of Eyewitness News and appearing on Headline News to help find him. It's tough because we, want, we are a big family, so to not have him and not know that, like, he's there just breaks us up a little bit, so I know. It's just tough. Police tell us the family has been notified of the discovery. Sadly, they were hoping for any news that would bring them closure. You don't want to pray that they're going to find his body, but it's like we have to know something soon. It's been too long. We did place a telephone call to the family and a family friend, but there was no answer. Police gave no immediate indication of a cause of death. Aspen police have asked for assistance from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation on this case. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.